Hi there. Welcome to the next installment of our NUnit with Lambda Test Platform series. In this video, we'll discuss how we can run a locally hosted application onto Lambda Test Platform to leverage the power of cross-browser, cross-platform features using Lambda Test Tunneling. The Lambda Test Tunnel allows you to connect your local system with Lambda Test servers via SSH-based integration tunnel. Once this tunnel is established, you can test your locally hosted applications onto all the 2000 plus browser environments present on the platform. Until our last video, we discussed how we can run test via NUnit and Selenium C Sharp for single instance test and running multiple tests via parallel execution of NUnit using NUnit's parallelizable features on our Lambda test platform. And in this video, we'll use the same approach but just that the application will be hosted within our local machine instead of the public domain as we were doing before. So in order to work with the Lambda test tunneling feature, we need to do two changes within our code as well as within our machine that we are trying to run the test. And that's very, very easy to achieve using the Lambda test platform itself. So if we go to the Lambda test platform and if we go to the automation, you will see that there will be a configure tunnel options. So this configure tunnel option will give you the command that we need to execute while running the Lambda test tunneling. So it basically requires an Lambda test exe file, which is used for tunneling. And then it gives you the user which is running the test and the key which is required to connect to the Lambda test platform. And this key is exactly the same key that we were using all these days using the secret key that communicates with the Lambda test platform via our code. So I'm just going to copy these command and then I'm going to start running it. And if you have not downloaded the Lambda test tunneling exe, then you can download it from here as you can see. And once the binary is downloaded, it is super easy to run the binary from our local machine. All we need to do is just to run the command, which is going to be something like this. As you can see, this is the command dot slash LT dot exe hyphen user my username and the key as the key which is securely communicating with our Lambda test platform. And I'm going to trigger the Lambda test tunneling. And once I trigger the Lambda test tunneling, it is going to communicate with the Lambda test platform and then it is going to achieve a secure Lambda test connection using SSH as you can see over here. And now you can see that the tunnel has been started and it says you can start testing the application now. Well, as I said, we are going to run our local machine deployed application on the Lambda test platform itself. In order to do that, I'm actually going to start an HTTP server for our application, which is available within my local machine. So once I do that, I have this particular application deployed. So this can be an application which is deployed within your local Apache server or internet information server or any server of that sort. So I'm just going to run the application. And as you can see over here, this is the application that we have been testing all these days with the public domain. But this time we are going to be running from our local machine. So I'm just going to use the same URL and I'm going to replace the existing publicly hosted domain to the local machines URL path. And that's it. That is the only change that I have to made for the URL side. But in order for our test to communicate via the tunneling feature that we have enabled, we need to somehow add an additional capability for our remote web driver so that it can start communicating with the Lambda test platform. In order to do that, I'm actually going to add a capability called as tunneling. And then I'm going to make this as true as we used to do it. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other capability, which is for Safari and Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to remove the additional is global parameter as true. And that's it. And now I'm going to build this solution and we can run this test and we'll see how it actually works. So now that our application is up and running, as you can see over here. So in order to run this test, I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to run the test right now. And if we go to the Lambda test platform over here, you can see that we have a new data available. So I'm just going to refresh them. 
and you can see that they are currently executing and you can see that all these tests are getting passed right now so basically these are the tests which is actually running the application which is running within my local machine and as you can see within the http server these urls are being hit by the lambda test test execution which is currently happening so it's been called by the test execution which just happened and if i go to any one of the tests over here you can see that it shows all the test execution completed and if i choose firefox with windows operating system and if i make this as expanded you can see that it is currently connecting to 127.0.01 colon 8080 and running the to do app so it is not actually connecting the public hosted application rather it is actually connecting to the application which is deployed within my local machine so this is the power of the lambda test which allows you to run the test by invoking the application which is deployed on the local machine and running them on the lambda test platform in a much simpler fashion so this way we have completed a lot of discussion on how to empower our existing test to run on the lambda test platform using parallelizable test and single test instance and also running a local application deployed within our machine onto lambda test platform using lambda test tunneling so this ends the complete series with all the discussion that we really required to discuss about on the n unit testing framework with selenium c sharp combo in case you have any questions or you're requiring further information you can chat with the team or you can also drop us an email at support at lambda test.com we're here to help and we'd love to hear from you subscribe to our channel to stay on top of exciting features on your way happy testing